Hello everyone and welcome back to your second stimulus check and stimulus package update for today, September 3rd. We have made it through another day together and I hope you're having a very blessed Thursday. What is coming your way in this video is an update on the FEMA approved states and more news from the Hill about the coronavirus relief package. And in addition, I will give you my stimulus package idea. As always, my name is Dion, and if you have already subscribed to my channel, welcome back and thank you very much. If you're willing to help today, please like and share the video. Maybe you're not a subscriber yet. Well, we have over 10,000 people in the Finance Kit community, so please consider subscribing for daily stimulus updates and other personal finance tips in the future. And we are officially at 45 approved states from FEMA. Great news for the people of Delaware, as they were approved yesterday. The extra unemployment benefit of $300 for people that qualify will be available for Delaware very soon. Which means we are down to only five states that are still yet to be approved for extra unemployment assistance. And those states are Kansas, Nebraska, New Jersey, Nevada and South Dakota. Considering Nevada has one of the highest unemployment rates in the nation, I truly hope they get approved very soon. And considering that not too long ago, some of the other approved states argued that the executive order from Trump was illegal, I am personally happy to see that their local governments decided to look past the political BS and help their people by applying and providing the extra $300 a week. Have you been able to receive the extra $300 already in your state? Please let us know down in the comments. Overall, I think we've seen a very positive news in the last few days. Almost all states are approved for the extra unemployment benefits. In addition, we now have extended eviction protections. Just those two things alone are great help to many Americans. Help that needs to be fueled and boosted by a second stimulus package. We know that anything the president tries to do via an executive orders is only temporarily and for a short period of time because any extra funding needs to be approved by Congress. And talking about approving additional funding and another stimulus package, we have more experts agreeing that we need another relief bill. In a recent interview with CNBC, Greg Jensen, who is the Chief Information Officer and Analyst with Bridgewater Associations, stated that by his estimates, we need another stimulus package of $1.3 to $1.7 trillion to sustain the economic recovery. He expects a big drawdown if lawmakers don't enact any more measures to prop up the economy. And quite honestly, I'm not sure how many experts need to come out there and publicly announce their research and data that supports another stimulus package and a second stimulus check. What do you think? When will our lawmakers start listening and put their political differences aside? I mean, even Treasury Secretary Steve Mnuchin urged Congress to appropriate more money to combat the effects of the coronavirus pandemic. He made a statement during a hearing on Tuesday that he was ready to sit down with Democratic leaders to resume negotiations at any time. And that time is today. According to the most recent reports, Mnuchin and the Democratic leaders should start the negotiations again today. We also know that Republicans are ready to vote on a bill next week. But that is not the vote we need, in my opinion. That skinny $500 billion bill that does not have a second stimulus check included will definitely be helpful but it is not what the economy and the American people need right now. Personally, for me, it feels like the opposite 
of what Democrats did in the House with the HEROES Act. Yes, the skinny bill will pass the Senate, just like the HEROES Act passed the House. But neither bill stands a chance of becoming a law at this point and providing any real financial support. I've been trying to put together my own stimulus package, so to speak. I don't know how much funding will be required, but there are roughly around 10 provisions that we need to see in the next stimulus package that should satisfy both parties and provide much needed help for our economy and the people. So here's what I believe should be included in the next stimulus bill. We need a new eviction moratorium outlining and providing support for both renters and landlords. Funding to help schools reopen safely because without that many parents are struggling with homeschooling and working full time. We have to have some funding for the USPS of course as that is one of the major problems with the current negotiations. Of course, expending the unemployment benefits. It should be capped, in my opinion, somewhere around 100% or below of lost wages. And we can't forget a second stimulus check, even if it's the same as the first one. It will be tremendous help for many Americans. And of course, to satisfy the other side of the aisle, we need liability protections for businesses against lawsuits related to the coronavirus. The president has to be happy as well, so adding a payroll protection program designed to help small businesses retain employees and maybe a short-term payroll tax cut or deferral if needed, of course, to close the deal. Lastly, in order to boost the employment rates and help get people back to work, we can add go back to work bonus and some employee retention tax credits that could help companies cover workers' pay. Overall, like I said, there are 10 provisions that, in my opinion, will boost the economy, provide much needed financial help for many, if not all, Americans. And also, it should fully cover the wish list of Democrats, Republicans, and the President. What do you think? Is that a good enough stimulus package? Of course, it all comes down to the amount spent. As we know, Democrats are at 2.2 trillion now, and Republicans are close to 1.3 trillion, not even considering their skinny bill as an option. There has to be a way to make this happen. I'm not a politician, I'm not a lawmaker, but I think it is obvious what needs to happen next. The second stimulus check as important as it is for many is not the only help we need right now. If you had to come up with a second stimulus package, what would you include in yours? Let me know down in the comments, please. Please like, share and comment. I appreciate you watching this video. I hope you're staying safe. Please hit the like button. And as you know, I have given you all the updates as soon as physically possible with working around the clock for you. And as soon as we know more, you will see it right here on the Finance Kit channel. I want to say thank you if you have subscribed to my channel already. If not, make sure to hit the subscribe button and that bell notification because I will continue to bring you the updates as they happen. I hope this video was informative and provided some value to you. If that's the case, like and share so more people can see it. And don't forget that down in the description, there are some other helpful links and helpful videos. Thank you for pushing your financial mindset towards a better reality. Until next time, stay positive, master your finances, and take a good care of yourself and those around you.